Hey, ladies and gentlemen, it's Katie Trainer here, and I am in Palmyra painting some uh, dahlias, and oh, painting some dahlias, and just found out that Trump lost the presidency. So that's kind of shocking to be by myself out here, like just like looked at my phone, and um, anyway, a lot of my work got canceled because the funding for the state has uh, not hired me for school districts because they cut a lot of funding for education this year and last year. So as you can tell, I'm rather excited about that now that I have my shoulder getting healed up from that surgery. So um, hopefully 2021 will give me more work in the education department. Uh, but what I was doing is uh, I'm in a class right now and that's what this is for. This is for my, um, I'm supposed to be developing digital content to submit to school districts where they want me to tell you how to paint. I, I, that's normally what my classes are, but now I'm just out slapping paint on the wall, trying to make some flowers. So, you can see, um, I don't really know flower structure very well. So the way that I'm going about this is uh, I look at my reference photo and then I will build up the background layer. So I'll just slap a whole bunch of greens on in sort of the approximation of where the plants would be. And that's what the background is there. And uh, here, let me get you guys a little bit closer. So you can see it's not super filled in yet, but this is like all background. So I'll come in with like some more textures eventually and start adding some uh, little extra wisps, extra tones, add some shading and stuff. And literally I just keep building it up. And for instance, like right here, this is uh, just some grasses. I'm gonna come in and add some more of these little guys, but you just keep layering over top of it. So you build up your darker tones in the background and um, you'd overlay with the lighter tones in the foreground. So for these, there was a pretty little bush over here where the bees were all, so like the concept for this property is they wanted me to like make a pollinator garden. So from a distance, it looks pretty sweet, right? Uh, I painted this all left-handed by the way, cause my arm, I haven't been able to use it for three months. So uh, what we did is we built in the background layers and uh, just some dark tones, just some different colors on the brush. And then I just, dabbled it on there and then um you can see some of it's not very clean either like it's wispy from a distance you don't really see it too well um but if it if it doesn't look good you just keep i'll just keep coming over and layering it and i mean there's different strategies for every type of mural that you do but for flowers the best that i found is like this is weird but from a distance it's not too weird right it kind of becomes the background and I'm not really sure how to go about, so you can see the little clouds there. I'm not sure how to go about creating digital content, teaching a classroom of students that aren't even there. So this will be my, one of my, one of my starting videos. Um, I'm actually able to use my right arm now. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Um, but for these, I painted all of this with my left arm. Uh, this will actually be on Penn Live whenever they decide to launch that story. But all of this was painted left-handed and you can see just the different tones. So um, for yellow, for this one, I use the complement of yellow, which is purple. So I'd use the purple to use to make my browns. And um, then the greens, the complement, so the green is red. So I'd use, you can see some red in there, but I made all of my, my darker shades, my darker tones were all the complements. So it's just yellow mixed with brown, add a little bit of white, um, add a little bit of more yellow mixed with purple. A little bit of purple to it to make it a little darker. <clears throat> Same with the reds and the greens. So right here you can see I've been coming in and layering over top. Um, you can see the, the lighter and the dark tones. And because they're sunflowers, they're all different heights. So I kind of have like the yellows uh, mixed in. And down below, this part's not done yet. So I'll come over and I'll layer some foreground imagery. But you just study the shape of the plant. You build up the background and um, then you layer over the foreground. And if you don't quite like it, you just keep layering. If you don't quite like it, you add some highlights. And if you don't quite like it, just keep working with it until you get it figured out. There's some lavender. I'm not super proud of them yet. So they're not done either. But I can only paint for so long and then I have to take a break right now. But this building's huge. So these are all painted with my right hand. Uh, the concept was the pollinator garden. So they wanted to have the bees, realistic, that's the queen bee right there. Um, they wanted something very realistic so that as you entered, it's sort of like your little bee chamber. Um, all the owner's idea 
is this part. It's more lavender. Some flowers, there's bees all over it too. And this was my custom creation, gave me uh, the opportunity to do whatever I wanted. So there you have a mascot inside. Like, I guess these macaws, they live forever, pretty much. They live so long. So like people will get these, these giant birds and will keep them 20 years and the person will pass away. The bird, nobody knows what to do with the bird if nobody wants to take it. Um, so he'll take them in here. And he had two of them when I was painting this. So that's why I kind of chose that imagery, that sacred geometry in the background, uh, which that is, this is particularly called the flower of life. And so uh, this pattern, I overlap in a lot of my work. I think it's a very beautiful, beautiful universal pattern that's been, it's been documented in um, temples in all over the world, India, China, uh, South America, but they found this, that's that particular, we don't have to go into that right now. It's called Sacred Geometry, but this is the logo. It was designed by Rebecca Preble. I actually don't know how you say your last name, Rebecca Preble, but um, that was her design and then she, we, we were trying to figure out what to do with that big space with the logo so she cascaded the animals and then i just painted it and uh create like did my colorful twist to it disco chicken i love disco chicken right there and then this was added on the wall too more pollinator garden stuff um it takes you to the back that's some goldenrod it's not quite done with that yet there's some uh, cone flowers and some little little cuties there you can see into the uh, back field. He's got the, a horse farm over here. And then uh, personally, he has bees in the back and chickens. They are not out today. But the good news, I'm almost done with this. It's been over a year. I should have had this done last year. So it's just about there now. Um, so pay attention, look for more educational videos. This wasn't very educational. It was just kind of like me getting the fumble con conversation out. Um, but I will be producing more. I'm not quite done with this project yet, but somehow it's the middle of November and I'm able to wear a tank top and it's awesome. So I can finish it this year. So um, subscribe, follow, do all that stuff. Uh, my educational class right now is through the Pennsylvania Council on the Arts, particularly Perry County Council on the Arts. And um, what is that? I guess University of the Arts runs this program, so anyway, stay tuned. In the meantime, I'm going to keep on flowering.